Why, hello. I'm here back again. I'm fucking on fire making videos recently, eh? Um, I was just going to just start making these and go, hey, look what I made. But I thought, fuck it, why not? I'll show you bits and pieces of me making it. So, um, you know how there's the deck that I'm standing on here, which is the kitchen one and just the deck. And then there's that deck there next to the caravan. And there's no staircase here. Well, I'm making the staircase. So we'll turn this around and show you. I decided I'm making my own stair stringers because, I don't know, I'm just that kind of person. I like making my own shit. And sometimes you can't always get the right size. And on top of that, I had a whole bunch of steel laying around. So free is free is free. If I can make it free, why not make it for free? So, uh... I'm not going to go into the big rundown of how to make stair stringers. Like, if you really want to learn how to make stair stringers, there's plenty of videos you can probably find. Or become a tradesman like myself, so I just know that shit. <laughs> um, so, basically, I've got the the bracket, the drop-down brackets here, cut the size. The brackets here to melt to the um, joist there. I've cut my stringer to length and the right angle. I've just got to cut the second one to go, I don't know if you can see with the sun, we might go from here. So yeah, I've got that one to cut and put in place, got to put that one in place. Got to weld those all together. Once I've done that, then I've just got to work out my risers. And your risers is basically, so like obviously this is where your stair tread starts. So I have a metal bracket that comes out here with a little wedge going in there to brace it. And your rise, I can't remember what I worked out with the rises. I got it written down, but I did the math for it. I think it's like, don't hold me to this. I could be wrong, 175 or some bullshit. But yeah, it comes out like that, dirt, and then dirt, and then dirt. I think that was all up. I think it worked out, you know, just the stair treads alone. I think it was three treads. Maybe four, but I don't think it was. I think it was three. So yeah, once I've weld those in place, got to work out where to put the stair brackets, weld those in place, and then bolt my stair treads on. And then, find myself a nice set of stairs to go between the decks so I'm not fucking trying to break myself, climb, and then busting my knees and jarring my back and shit, jumping down all the time. So, yeah. That's why I thought I did that. The only annoying thing is my um, generator isn't working, so I've got to wait for my mate down the road to come drop his generator down for me so I can weld this shit together. But that's no biggie. I've still got to cut this stuff up anyway. But that's where I'm, where I'm at now. I'll probably... Uh, oh, probably the next segment will be maybe doing a little bit of welding. And then it'll go from there. So, catch us on the flip side. Okie dokie do. Well, I have a generator now acquired. <coughs> As you can see, uh, just over there. So, and I have <coughs> oh, shit, shit, shit. that rusty bit there. I've got all my shit cut to size. So, we'll set this camera up somewhere and uh, we'll start welding. I decided to do, I'll just turn this around. I didn't have anything really. That's suited for brackets, so what I'm going to do is line these up where they need to be and weld them on the inside like that. That way, was it the inside or the outside? Yeah, that way you don't see them from the outside. The stringers are sort of ugly. There'll be, you leave like, where the string ends, there's enough room for the stair tread to sit on. You can bolt through them. And then you press though, there's some uh, stair brackets. So that's what I'm doing with that way. Alright, so I was going to weld this on the ground, but my back is fucking killing me today, so I decided to be smart and stand waist level by putting this up here. So it's got the, yeah, I'm not going to waste your time. Anyway, I'm well up here. So there's the top bracket, so that's got to go there, and I've just spaced it with some screws to give the right amount of space on each side. And then we've got the bottom bracket, which is going to go like that. And then, yeah, just got to weld around, weld around, work out my, um, where the treads go, and then, yeah, go from there. So we'll set this camera up somewhere and you can just watch me weld.
chuck me a welding jacket on. Um, So an overload, but there's no fucking load.
gonna pause this bit for a bit, guys, and just see if I can try and sort this set out. Well, I think I might have found one potential issue. Country things you can see here. I just opened the side panel up here, and it looks like a mouse or a rat has decided to fucking drag a bunch of shit in here and make a nest. So that won't be real good for making the engine cool or well for fire hazard for that problem. For that matter, if something gets too hot, that sh this shit could catch fire. <laughs> so we'll drag all this shit out. We'll start there. I might even get the blower in there and blow it out, but yeah, so there's step one of diagnosing, diagnosing this thing. What could be the issue? Um, old mate has taken the battery out. So, seems well and good. You can start, most engines you can run without a battery because of the magnet or whatever the fuck you call them. Um, will keep spark going, but some engines don't like not having a battery there. But luckily for old mate, I've got a spare battery here which is should be fine i think it's don't think it's charged but it doesn't work i can always charge it up um and hopefully fingers crossed that makes a difference so we'll see if that does anything so i fixed it guys simple as that it just needed a battery on it um so yeah in petrol shit needs battery electricity to help it run so just set this camera up somewhere and start rolling this shit out eh?
First stringer weld together quite beautifully, if I don't say so myself. There's some lovely looking welds, but it's not hard to weld thick steel. Um, so we'll weld the other one together, and then I'll yeah I'll start doing the um, thread thing with Bob's. But I want to have a little sit down for a bit, so I'm going to turn this off for a sec.
Well, that was good timing because, well, the welder just overheated, but like I just finished my. Oh, I would have got maybe half a centimetre. I could have got just to re just to join those two together, but fuck, we'll call that done. So, that was good luck. Uh. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll bolt these in place first and then I'll weld in the um, brackets when they're there. That way I can make sure everything's where it needs to be. It's level and perfect and we. So a little break again and I'll start doing that shit. See you in a sec. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll bolt these in place first and then i'll weld in the um brackets when they're there that way i can make sure everything's where it needs to be it's level and perfect and we so a little break again and i'll start doing that shit see you in a sec okie dokie so i've got my stringers bolted or well, screwed in place there and i just want to do a little demonstration here just to show you perfectionist out there why I chose to do the stair brackets what I've done. So if you can, I'll turn this camera around and show you. So as you can see right here, I've cut this one out. Now this is, this, this would make, if I did all the stair brackets like this and weld them on, the stringers would look pretty schmicky dick, I'm not going to lie, that would look good because as you can see, I've made it so it's a level fit, straight in the middle like that. You could weld, sorry, you could weld all the way around, get it nice and secure, and yeah, it would look very nice. Only problem is, you got no real good way of bolting it underneath, unless you could put this bolts from top to bottom, which would work, I know, um, but they would be very close to the front. Um, but if I do it, but ultimately, you're not gonna see it. So to say, and also to make that cut used about half a uh, cutting disc. So you're going to go through cutting disc doing that unless you've got a drop saw or um, your band saw set up right, which I don't really feel like doing. So what I'm going to do is this. Just weld them to the side of the stringers like that. Just top and do a weld along the top, do a weld along the bottom at the right angle. So they'll, they'll look like that on the stringer and then that way because it is onto the side you can put bolts you can put bolts straight up through them like screw you can screw them from the bottom which I like to do because I don't really like putting bolts through stair treads if I can it just gives a place for water to ingress and rot your tread out so if you can bolt them not bolt them if you can screw them with top, really you know strong screws you know diner bolts or at the very least batten screws you know, short enough so they don't go through the top, obviously, but you screw them from the bottom and you have a lot, your stair treads will last a lot longer. So, I'm going to weld all those um, brackets on at the right places for the stair treads, and then once they're done, we'll um, bolt some stair treads on. So, you can watch me do that.
Righto, so for some reason the camera decided to just cut out midway through welding, but as you can see, that's all nicely welded on. Uh, the screw I used is the spacer, doesn't want, doesn't want to come out, but that's okay. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That's uh, fucking sold as a rock. If I weld them up all like that, going down on the inside, make sure they're level across too. I think we're on to a winner. So, um, I might not actually film you. This video is getting a bit long in the tooth already. We'll skip to me. It's all done. You've seen me sort of well one, done enough welding. You know what welding looks like. So, I'll weld those on. We'll come back. I'll show you that. And then we'll bolt some treads on. And then you can see the finished product. So, see you in a sec.